Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day so far. So today, for me at least, it's a very exciting day because I get to try a new mascara. If you are not new here, you'll know I love my mascara. It's like one of my favorite, if not maybe my favorite makeup product. I always wanna try new mascaras that come on the market. And this one I was especially excited to try. It's upside down. <laughs> this is the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara, the lash lifting volumizing mascara. I absolutely love Lancome mascaras. Monsieur Big was my holy grail for a very, very long time and I still love it. Repurchased that one multiple times. I also know that lots of you guys and people in general adore other mascaras from Lancome. Hypnose is a very iconic mascara from Lancome. So I know that this brand can do their mascaras. And when I saw the wand on this mascara in the images, I knew I had to try it. It looks like my cup of tea. It looks and sounds like my kind of mascara from a brand that I know can nail mascara. So of course I had to pick it up. So at the moment, this mascara is not available in the UK. It has launched in the US and is kind of widely available. I've linked it in the description down below for you if you are suitably impressed by this review. I got mine from the Origins website, which is a French perfume website and the shipping was very reasonable. It was here within about a week. This mascara will be launching around the 30th of January if you don't want to order it from the website that you don't know very well or not a UK website or you want to get it in store, then if the stores are ever open again, then you will be able to get it from around the end of January in the UK. But I would recommend the Origins website. I had no issues. The shipping was reasonable and obviously it's French, so there's no import or anything like that to pay on top. So this mascara is the Lancome Lash Adore Lash Lifting and Volumizing Mascara, which is a mascara that targets and volumizes every single lash for instant lash lift, length and fanned out volume with no clumps. Sounds good. Lancome's Curved Mascara Wand pushes up and fans out lashes for an open eye effect lasting up to 24 hours while the 360 degree micro bristles grab every lash from root to tip, no matter the length, for longer eyelashes without the clumps. The gel formula won't weigh on lashes, leaving them feathery soft with no flaking or smudging. Sounds pretty good to me. This is not a waterproof mascara and you get eight mils for your money, which is a pretty average amount for mascara. The Pat McGrath Dark Star, which is one of my favorites, you get 13 mils, which is a whopping mascara. But the majority of the mascaras that I own are between sort of eight to 12. That's kind of an average amount of mascara. So without further ado, let's get this mascara on my lashes and see what we think. Okay, so let's get on with the first coat on this side. I'm gonna try my best to stay in shot. Can't tell you how tricky it is to flip and apply a mascara on camera without going out of shot. It's a little tricky little number. I'm really liking this brush, you know. This seems like it's not a ginormous brush that you find really hard to keep away from your lid. I think because my lashes are quite naturally long, I find it quite hard not to touch my eyeshadow and then have to go back in and, you know, tweak that, smudge it away with a Q-tip. But this wand is nice and small and I love that curve to the brush because you can get right in using the base of that brush to get right to the root to tip of the lashes. I feel like I easily and quite quickly managed to get a uh, initial coat on there and then I like to go from the other side and kind of drag the brush to make sure that there's mascara on the back of the lashes as well because that's how you get the ultimate volume. So I'm finding it really easy with this really quite skinny brush to comb through my lashes and to get every last little lash definitely as claimed and it's not kind of scratching my waterline which I find with some of the brushes that are a little smaller like this because it's just perfectly sized and shaped. So that is one really good solid coat with the mascara. Trying to look forward again, trying not to look too much in the monitor or in my mirror so you guys can actually see what's going on. But so far, yeah, it was really easy to apply. There's no, literally no contact with my eyelid so far as far as getting mascara on there. So far it's not super dramatic, like there's some 
volume, there's some lift, there's some length, but it's not massively dramatic. But at the same time, that's I find that I get that more so from subsequent coats. So I'm just gonna let this one dry for a second and then we'll go in with a second coat. So when I'm doing my makeup regularly off camera, I tend to go and do something else or so do a coat of mascara like I just did, a really good whole coat all over every lash, front and bottom, and get it in the shape that I want. And then I'll go and do like my brows or I'll go and do my bronzer and then I'll come back. And that's kind of the perfect length of time for me so that the mascara hasn't fully set down, which makes it very hard to build on top of it, but it's not still wet, which will make it so that you're just kind of repeating what you've done without building. So I've now re-dipped my wand, I reopened the mascara and we'll go in with the second coat so I'm kind of using the bigger chunkier side at first and then I'm using the shorter side to kind of get right to the base this is building beautifully okay so this is where we're gonna get that drama from the second coat I feel like the first coat you're just kind of making sure every lash has the mascara on and getting the shape that you want and then with subsequent coats is where you get any drama so if you just want a really natural lash obviously you just stick with the one coat and that's where you get your nice natural shape and just color definition and a little bit of zhuzh and then if you want super dramatic lashes like I love you'll get them in your second or third or holy moly even your fourth coat Obviously, mascara is very subjective. I have decent lashes to start with, and I like them as big as possible. Okay, so there are two coats versus a bare naked lash over here. So for me at this stage, it's it's nowhere near as like dramatic as say Monsieur Big or the Pat McGrath Dark Star. I'm definitely got not getting that type of volume. I'm getting length, separation, fluffy, fluttery lashes, more so similar to the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes, but I'm not getting as much like lift and definition. I'm definitely not experiencing like any clumps. That for sure is true, but I'm also not getting a whole heap of drama or a whole lot of length or a whole lot of volume. It's just a bit of everything, I guess. Even on a second coat, yes, there's more, but it's still pretty natural. Okay, so because at this stage with two coats, we're still not getting the kind of dramatic lash that I would love to see, I'm gonna go in with a third coat to see if third time's a charm. And I'm really gonna pile this on here because I wanna see whether my dramatic guys and girls can get the look that we want out of this mascara or not. I think this may be one that, you know, with a couple of weeks use, it might get better and better because it's maybe one that's just not quite as powerful as I would love it to be on first use. Maybe it will improve with age, but yeah, at the moment, it's not quite giving me the level of drama that I love from mascara. Okay, so three coats. Again, I got a little bit more drama there, but still not what I'm looking for. It's still a little too just lacking for me. There's not enough length. There's not enough volume. There's not a, like a huge amount of lift or separation. Everything is just like a little bit. And for me, that is not, I'm not a little bit kind of girl when it comes to my lashes, you guys know. I want something to be kapow, whether it's volume or length or separation or number of lashes, I want some drama from my lashes. And currently this just isn't giving me that. I'm gonna have a go now without re-dipping my wand on these lower lashes. I, I do think this will be a really nice mascara for lower lashes because it's a nice small size of wand that's narrow, that's quite, that spiky kind of separating type of one. So I think it will be lovely on lower lashes. That's something, let's give that a try. It's even harder to stay in shot to do lower lashes. So forgive me if I'm not, or if I'm going out of focus, it's very tricky. Yeah, so this is like perfect for me for lower lashes. You can easily get them all. It's not doing too much. 
it's giving me that nice kind of just defined a little bit of extra color it's not sticking them together it's not making them super clumpy so I really like that's exactly what I love on my lower lashes so I will definitely continue to use this on my lower lashes okay guys so I've gone in with two coats and one coat on my lower lash line on this side now just to even everything out and sometimes you get a bit of a different experience when you're not on camera and not worrying about being in focus or being in shot you can kind of get a better result with mascara but it's pretty much the exact same experience that I had on the first eye I think this is a very beautiful mascara it looks I really like the way that my lashes look right now don't get me wrong I don't dislike this mascara I think my lashes look beautiful it is almost impossible to get clumping with this mascara I think the wand is just so brilliant at combing the mascara through that no matter how much you put or you know going into heavy-handed or you know whatever you're doing it's really good at stopping any clumping happening that is excellent and I feel like my lashes feel very light and fluffy and natural and there's definitely you know some lash there but for me personally it's not there's not enough length or volume here for me I think my lashes are super black very very black I think they're beautifully separated and fluffy and fanned out but the bit that I'm missing for me personally is just that kapow of length or volume that I can get with some of my other preferred mascaras. But I do feel like over the next couple of weeks with use as the mascara dries out a little bit that I will probably start to get that. So this is going to be one I think that will grow on me overuse as it ages some mascaras get better with age don't they but my favorites so my pat mcgrath dark star my long con monsieur big my charlotte tilbury push-up lashes all of those mascaras are perfect for me from the first to the last use i don't think this is going to be like that i think this is going to be one that right now i like it it looks nice but i'm just like craving a little bit more kapow from my lashes that i can get with my other mascaras that i prefer but i do you feel that that might come with age and I love it on my lower lashes it's like perfection on my lower lashes I like the wand I like the brush it gets every last lash it's very easy to use without touching your lashes I, it's really hard to apply mascara on camera and normally I make a really bad mess of my eyeshadow when I'm doing a mascara review but today I haven't even had to use a q-tip I feel like it's very easy to not be messy it's not a really wet formula so it's not messy it's easy to apply easy to avoid clumps very easy to get every single lash from inner to outer corner it's got a lot going for it I will say that okay so there you have it I really love how my lashes turned out today I really really like them I think they look really fluttery and soft and feathery and literally like zero clumping despite the fact that I went in and in with multiple coats there was never a need to like work out a clump or work out a clump together lash so I feel like if you you know don't like that clumpy lash but you still want volume and a dramatic bold very very black lash then I think you will love this I think for me personally I'm gonna love this and make like way way more in a, in a week or two as it's just like got a few uses under its belt for me I just I wish it had a hair more volume or a hair more length but it still looks really really nice and I really like it and I think it's one of my favorite brush slash wands it's just so easy to get from the very root to the very tip every last lash front and back lower lashes and coat them very easily very quickly without having to work at it without having to brush clumps away or anything like that it's very easy to work with it's not super wet and messy of a formula so I think that's going to be a real plus for lots of people who don't necessarily want that huge fat clumpier looking lash which I tend to love and don't get me wrong I do love this look I think it looks really really nice but I think I will love it more if it will just give me a hair more volume in a couple of weeks so there you have it I hope you found this review and demo helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video I would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.